Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video today. Today guys, as you can see on my screen, we have got a Flutter application open and today we are going to learn about how to create or how to basically react to the gestures in Flutter. Uh, before I start with the video guys just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started now. So you can see on my screen guys that I have already created a basic flutter application in which I have got this uh, you know I've got this uh, basic bar and with some title on top but there is nothing inside this page right now. Now if I show you the code for this, this is basically the uh, a file called as gesture.dart that I have created. Now in this I have basically created a simple my application which is a stateless widget and then I have added a stateful widget uh, which is called as uh, my home page which is having its state as my home page state. Now in this home page state, I'm just gonna remove this message now, there is a function called as build. And in this build function, we are basically returning a scaffold uh, type of container. Okay, scaffold widget, which is nothing but a sort of a container widget. And this container widget is having a app bar and the app bar is having a title. So this is your green color is your app bar and gesture example is your title. Okay. Now I have explained all this pretty quickly guys. I'm not going to go into the detail of this particular code because this is a boilerplate code and we have already discussed about it in my previous videos. So if you have not yet seen those and I will put the link in the description below to the entire playlist, you can go through them if you want to have more knowledge about how we came forward with this particular code snippet, okay? In our case, we are just going to start directly from the gestures. So now we know that we have got a container widget already, right? So this app bar thing is done. First thing, I need to add a body to it. So why do we want to add a body to it? Because uh, this is basically the section where I want to first place a widget and then I can add some gestures on it, right? For example, here I will simply create a rectangle and then we will test uh, that what all kind of gestures we can place on it. Now, we have this body tag and we have actually played with this. In this body tag, you can, you know, create a container widget and in this container, you can put any rectangle, square, whatever you want to do. You can give your height and width. But to actually detect gestures in Flutter, there is a special type of widget which we should use and that's called as gesture detector. So as we know in Flutter, everything is a widget. Detecting gestures is also done by a special widget, which is called as gesture detector. So first of all, I'm going to create a uh, centralized uh, widget in our body. So I'll just make it center. In this center, I'm going to create a child and this child is going to be the widget of type gesture detector. Okay. Now this, uh, this uh, gesture detector widget is a very special type of widget. It, ha it has got a special property which, you know, react to different gestures. Okay. So for example, it has got, if you just press on, you will see all these suggestions coming up. So on tap, on tap down, on double tap, on force press, on long press. For now, let me just write the code for on tap which is nothing but tapping on that particular uh, tapping on that particular widget okay now uh, tapping in general sense in case of uh, if you are on your phone you can say tap but if you are on your desktop you can say it's a click okay so i'm just going to print that if somebody comes to the gesture detector and actually clicks or taps then let's print on the screen that button tapped or let's say widget tapped this should tap okay now we know that gesture detector has all the on methods to capture the gestures but for now, we have got nothing in, in, our, uh, uh, in our container, right? In this, in this center container widget, there is actually nothing which is visible to us. So gesture detector is a gesture capturing widget, but it is not a visible widget. It's not something which is visible to us to 
actually create a visible widget you have to register the child of gesture detector so gesture detector has a property called as child and in this child you can add your visible widget so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a container and let's give this container some height and width let's give the height as uh, 610 and width as 120 and some padding uh, edge inserts all 10.0 and let's give some outlining so decoration box decoration uh, we are going to create a box here let's give the box a color let's say colors dot colors dot blue gray no, sorry the colors c has to be capital so colors dot blue gray and let's give the border radius as border radius dot circular and the radius value could be okay so now we have added a container here okay in this container now container is also a container widget right we need to add something which is visible inside this container so obviously we need a child of this container so we have specified all the dimensions of this container but we need to have a child in it and this child let's say says a text which is called as click me okay so basically what we have done is we have created a sort of a rectangle and in this rectangle we have placed a text called as click me and now on this text if you click on it or if you tap on it basically this gesture should get triggered and we should print on this screen on this console here gesture tapped okay so let me save this code and once we save this code this is going to hot reload and it should actually reload on our chrome here so as you can see on my screen so this basically this box here is uh, was your container and we gave it all the padding and decoration and the color was blue gray inside this container we placed a text so if i click on it so I have actually clicked on it. I know it's not visible. I have clicked it twice. You can see that two times gesture tab is printed. Okay. Now you can register a whole lot of gestures on it. So for example, if I say on long press, uh, print long pressed. If I say on, on double tap, double tap sorry on double tap print double tapped so now it's gonna hot reload again and once it hot reloads let's try again okay so uh, this is the first click i have done you can see that it says gesture tab now I will just click on it and hold it for 10 seconds, like 2 seconds. Now I have released the button and you can see it says long pressed. If I quickly do ten, two, quick, uh, 2 clicks, you can see that it prints double tapped. So there are multiple gestures inside this gesture detector widget which you can actually use to detect the gestures. You can actually uh, use something called as on uh, you can use something called as on horizontal drag, on horizontal drag start, on horizontal drag end, on vertical uh, drag. Basically, these are used if you are dragging the um, you know thing from one place to another. Okay, if you uh, mean to touch the surface of the screen with a fingertip, which can move in di any direction without releasing the fingertip. This is basically on pan start and on pan update. So for example, you can do something on pan start and on pan update. And uh, also you can do something called as, uh, you know, on, uh, on, on pinch. So basically, if you, 
is there on pinch here hmm. okay i think the pinch thing is not here uh, but uh, definitely you can do vertical drag horizontal drag long press tap down tap up you can do uh, you know on pen start on pen update so there are like multiple uh, gestures which you can do with the help of gesture detector but it's not only just uh, with container widget that you can do that most of the times our gestures are on buttons right so let's see if i want to actually change the state of the button so let's say i have got a button which is having the text called as something and i want to change the text of that button how can i do that because in case of button you don't actually have to put them inside a gesture detector buttons are a different type of uh, buttons are a different type of uh, you know widget they are something which already have in action attached to them so let's say if i uh, put the child as text button so now i have deleted the gesture detector i am simply putting a text button okay so if you actually create a text button you will have a sort of a uh, method inside this text button that is called as on pressed now in this on pressed you can print anything so let's say if i print on the console button clicked okay and also you can give the rest of the things like uh, I think this there there has to be a text in it. Yeah, child. Yeah. So obviously the text button needs to have a child, and in this child you can give that text is uh, something called as click me. Okay. Now if I save this and if I load this again, you will see that somewhere in the middle you got a button. This is a text button and if I click on it, it will say button clicked. So if you use some sort of action widgets like buttons, then you don't even need to implement a whole gesture detector. You can simply use the properties on that action widget, which we have called as on pressed here and you can use that. Buttons don't only just have on pressed, they have got multiple gestures like again on long press. So you can do the on long press thing here, which we were doing in gesture detector on focus change on hover. So again, we have got multiple properties in buttons. Okay. So let's say I can say long press. Okay. And you can try that. So I have been pressing it for two seconds. So you can see that long press is printed. Now, Let's say if I want to use a gesture, but on that gesture, I want to change the state of my whole Flutter application. Let's say I create a string here, string message is becomes equals to click me. So this is a message. And originally, this message is actually the text of the button. So let's say this is the text. If I say here, this click me is actually inside the message. Now, on pressed, when you are pressing, you can actually call a function called as set state. In this set state function, you can change the value of all any instance variable which you have declared. So, this message is actually the instance variable of this class. So, in the set state method, you are able to change the instance variable. So, if I say that if message is equal equals to let's say click me uh, sorry not equal equals to dot equals to um, sorry message dot equals I think equals is not there so we can say starts with click me then message becomes equals to button clicked but if it is already clicked and you click it again then message will become equals to button released or let's say click me so on the first click it will say button click on the second click it will say back to go back to click me okay 
so let's say I save this and now I reload it again so initially the button text is click me if I first clicked it it will say button clicked if I again click it it will go back to click me so it's like a toggle thing now okay so this is how guys you can use gesture detector to detect a whole lot of gestures in all your widgets and this is how you can also use a certain type of gestures in your action widgets like buttons to actually change the state of your felt flutter application or to simply you know recognize the gesture events okay so that was a, a very short and video uh, sorry uh, this was a very short introduction about the gestures in flutter i hope you guys that it was an informative video for you and you learned something from it if you still have any questions comments like, uh, any feedback regarding this video guys then feel free to write down in the comment section below i would be happy to address it definitely guys if you like this video then please do not forget to share this video with your friends and uh, please do do not forget to like this video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye